The Capote thing genuinely was weird. I, I mean, I'm sure someone's keeping something from me, but I think that the fact that two films about the same guy, no one had ever made a film about him before, that two films that deal, dealt with the same episode, you know, the, the, the writing of his most famous book, that they came out at the same time, that is just weird. Did I feel bad about it? Uh, I can say it until I'm blue in the face, but I didn't because the idea at that stage of my career, I'd worked mainly in theatre, happily working in theatre, and the idea that I would uh, play a lead part in an American film around the kind of actors I was working with was so inconceivable to me that there's no way I felt any sense of disappointment with that part really ever. Um, if it's a non-fictional character or a fictional character, it has to work dramatically. So your main job is that whatever you want to do for character, it has to work within the drama and be the most interesting drama it can be. I think I have to guard against thinking that I'm going to become this other person. Because fear makes you do so much research. Fear, you know. You have to remind yourself, it is just got to fit into this drama. But I, I, can, I can become obsessive, less now, but I, I used to become quite obsessive about, about making sure I'd seen everything. But now I, I think it's much more about whether it, it, that the course of the drama reveals the character. You know, that you, you don't need to reveal the character, show how much work you've done. The, the drama will reveal the bits of the character that need to be revealed, you know. Any work that I did about Hitchcock's obsession started with the script. It's very easy to speculate about why he might have been obsessive and stuff. But in, in, in the film, he needs to become more and more obsessive. That's the journey that the audience go on. And so my job is to show that increasing uh, obsession. And uh, the script was seen by and verified by Tippi Hedren herself. Uh, there's also suggestions of, you know, that his obsession became... This very fa obviously the famous story that everyone knows is the way that he tormented her with real birds, throwing real birds at her for five days and tied birds to her costume and she put up with it for five days of shooting non-stop in a way that I think a more experienced act actress might, might not have done. But I think there was also something sexual about it Although as soon as you say sexual obsession, it becomes very unspecific. I think there was something very particular about his obsession with her because it was something to do with her. She, she, wouldn't, be, she wouldn't be pinned down by him. She wouldn't be fixed by him. In, in, and I think this began to obsess him about who was this woman who was somehow... I don't think he... He, he, he certainly didn't feel attractive. Uh, I don't think he ever felt attractive, that's my guess, but I think that he, he couldn't see how she could resist the force of his personality. You know.